I came to the States seven years ago to study my master's degree in architecture and New School of Architecture and Design. Uh, and uh, I basically came to find my purpose and um, I ended up doing a master's that I am so proud of. Um, and uh, we'll see. <laughs> a project that um, is my baby. <laughs> Oh, there, there, oh. there. Oh. Oh. It, it. there. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> do not even touch. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, masters in our uh, bachelor's and masters in architecture. Uh, I started the masters in social innova uh, innovation, um, and I didn't finish it. Uh, and then I went into social entrepreneurship, opened my own firm. Uh, NPB Design Studio, which uh, is a social impact investment, um, and uh, founded the Table of Hope and Gardens of Hope, which are um, a pandemic relief uh, food um, uh, at the community garden. Uh, I sit on a couple of boards. I am a Rotarian, and uh, um, I am a Slow Food member too, if anybody knows what this. Um, I got nominated to a lot of uh, awards, and just got the recognition from the Congress last week. Uh, Congratulations. Thank you. So I'm young, I'm a female, uh, and I'm business owner. Uh, why aren't you working? Um, so yeah, uh, I am from Egypt. Uh, I lived 27 years there, and I was one of the uh, people uh, in the revolution. I'm not in this picture, <laughs> uh, but uh, this is what I learned uh, through my journey in Egypt. Strength in unity. When you divide, you conquer. And when you unite, you win. Um, by the people, for the people, for social justice. And if we uh, can risk our lives for that, that's a purpose of our, my life, actually. Um, we collected 22 uh, million signatures to remove the last president. Uh, and we put our lives in um, very hard uh, times. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the idea that I'm uh, presenting to you today is connecting parks to connect people. Um, but I'm gonna tell you what I discovered for myself. It's not just connecting parks, but um, so I'm gonna tell you about the introduction, the current case, uh, the suggested solution from other researchers, um, the layers that I used, the concepts, the depth, uh, and we're gonna focus on one note, uh, the before and after, and how I implemented 10 of the UN Sustainable Development Goals, um, and define the social impact uh, um, as is. Um, I'm gonna just point on people and ask a question, okay? So, sir, uh, how do you define design? <laughs> I think uh, just creating things in a thoughtful way. Okay. Um, Ma'am, how do you define design? Um, design with a capital D, intentional effort into arrangement. Okay. Uh, Saita, how do you define <laughs> design? Uh, kind of as uh, she said, uh, intentional trying of people or even authorities to organize the area to better use or make it more you know um, to use it uh, optimal use of a place uh, excellent explanation everybody my definition to design is the ability to control anybody in any place without being there um, if you think about it we're controlling as urban planner we're controlling cars, pedestrians, uh, bike lanes, we control these users. Um, if you think about an architect, he controls the spaces. Where is the space and how are we moving from this space to another? Um, and if you go to an interior level, they actually control where we pee. <laughs> so if you have the sink here, you're washing your hand. If you have uh, the toilet here, you're pee. Um, uh, 
to get into another question, open question for you. What controls our health do you know? I, I, I know everybody knows, but I don't rush in telling me. <laughs> but uh, for the time's sake, I'm gonna just lay it out. Uh, healthy diet, um, walkability, medicine, and air quality. But this question is the worst question to ask. It's who controls your health? Who is responsible of planting all the trees in your city? And who is responsible for your walkability uh, and making your city walkable and tricking you into walking? Who is responsible in healthy diet, in presenting community gardens or um, availability to uh, marketplaces? And who, when he fails of doing that, is responsible to sending you to the hospital and putting you on pills for the rest of your life. So it's who? It's the urban designer. It's actually your social impact urban designer. The case study that I'm working on is in San Diego. So we have three, four, and 50 three behaviors that lead to four diseases and 50% of us die from it. The three behaviors are no physical activity, poor diet, tobacco use, and they lead to cancer, heart problems, lung problems, and diabetes. Add to it COVID, and you get more chances of ending up into the hospital or even dying. And if that doesn't matter, we're paying billions of dollars on that. So we're not planting, and when we don't plant, we pay for people to go to the hospital, being on welfare, so we're paying anyway. Um, if you add another level of it to um, how your income affects your health, um, you find that the low income people are more, at more health, uh, health risk. Live Well San Diego gave us the answers to all of our questions. They said that invest in safe and appealing parks and recreation. Um, increase the availability and affordability of fresh produce and adopt walkable communities. But are we doing that? That's a question. So if the answer is so simple, walkable trees and eating healthy diet, why are we doing it? The English chief medical officer said that if a medication existed, which had a similar effect to physical activity like walking, it would be regarded as a wonder drug uh, or a medical cure. And Dr. Fogg also said that um, if you want to change your behavior, radically change your environment. So if we know that, let's do it. A um, hundred years ago, uh, John Nolan, uh, an urban designer of San Diego, he's the master plan for San Diego, uh, said that, okay, before that, <laughs> Balboa Park is one of the biggest uh, park in San Diego. It's like, it, compared to it, we don't have parks <laughs> because it's, it's like the center, uh, central park in New York. Um, uh, it's so important, the touristic, value and the environment value that, that it brings is so important. So John Nolan said that if you connect two of your biggest assets, like the Balboa Park and the Bay in a corridor, you create a bigger asset. So I took his idea and I searched for it. Um, and with my professors, we, said, we worked on a corridor um, that connects Balboa Park to the Bay through 25th Street and Cesar H. Chavez. It's a multi-destination sustainable corridor. Connects four parks together, three neighborhoods, two of them are low income. Um, and why is it multi-destination? Because today I can walk from Balboa Park to Cesar H. Chavez Park. Tomorrow I'm gonna park at Granite Hill Park and go to C Chicano Park. Every time you walk this corridor, it's a different experience. And since we're connecting parks, we're sharing amenities. So you 
you don't need to repeat the same amenity in every park. One of the layers that we used is green injustice. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on each slide, but we can answer the question after that. So this is our green justice, 10 minutes walk from each park, you get this uh, red area. When you add another layer, um, the uh, other layer is a, um, the freeway buffers, 500 uh, feet from each side of the freeway, you get the most polluted area. So now we have a way to define where we need parks and where we need it now. So to strategically adding parks to the parts that we need. Um, let's see one of the zones uh, here, the analysis of how we are dealing with it. So asthma, low birth weight, heart problems, poverty, language, property, uh, language barrier. Well, uh, if you have poverty and you have language barrier and you have uh, condition, chronic diseases, how are you going to work? How are you expected to work? Um, so the concept starts with um, a human figure uh, that is also a tree uh, with the roots at the bay and the branches at the park with a heart that is beating in the middle where the trolley station is and the highest density is. Um, in the second diagram, um, I actually pushed the boundaries of Paris with the 15 minutes uh, division into the 10 minutes division where you can overlap with activities. So tricking people uh, to come. So what I'm doing is not uh, just a tree network, a social network, uh, a wildlife network, a transportation network, an art network, and all of this together creates an eco, um, uh, eco city. Uh, so think about parks in a different way, appreciate the park, but I'm going to get to the slide that is very important. This is what I'm suggesting, that just by adding parallel parking to one side of the street, add wayfinding signatures that tell you how much to bike and walk to every stop of the way, add the double aisles of tree and a bike lane, a safe bike lane, walk, um, sit, uh, have a coffee, uh, meet a friend, uh, start adding uh, arts that reflect you and, and appreciate who you are. Um, people watch, walk. Uh, multiple seating arrangement with herb gardens that you can take, um, some herbs and cook with it. Um, art that represent who the uh, people are living there. Um, buses and, and, uh, and ramps for uh, people who are disabled, um, an art corner with an art, um, with a, lens, a landmark that you can see from everywhere that reminds you of your past and inspires you for the future. It actually heals you from inside out. And the music too. <laughs> uh, an art maze where you can lose yourself in, to find it in another way. Um, it's always flexible. Public space has to be flexible. Today it's Hispanic art, tomorrow it's African-American art. Yeah, uh, you can scan the code if you want to see it uh, again. Um, but I want to show you other stuff too. Um, This is a dignifying canopy for you to wait for the trolley station and it also can be used for a multi-farmer uh, uh, market or multi-purpose. This is how we, we thought about the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Um, if we design spaces that is sustainable for sustainable cities and communities uh, with innovation and infrastructure, you can't do that without creating climate action plan and reasonable consumption. If you do it in a three low income communities, you actually do a no, no poverty. Uh, if you do it with the intention of good health, reduce inequality and growth, 
um, then you actually get all of these. And you can't do any of these without partnership and peace and prosperity. Um, and the most important things in life uh, can't be measured by numbers, uh, like love, <laughs> for example. And I think park is the way city loves you. Um, and I'm leaving you with the last sentence, what is social impact design? Is a methodology of solving multiple problems um, by digging into the root cause and fixing the core problem, thus creating a domino effect for problem solution um, and without creating different problems. So in this project, we solve vision zero, complete, action, uh, complete street, climate action, transit oriented, place making, walkability, healthy community, uh, bike lane, public art and culture, and inclusive cities. Um, and uh, this code takes you to the, the study. This code gets you my contact.